It's time for an angel number message. I've been seeing so many angel numbers. I always see synchronicities everywhere. I'm sure you are too, if you're paying attention. So let's see. Why don't you choose a card and get your angel number message. Okay, number one. We have unexpected shifts, 505. So fives are about changes. We get divine intervention, sudden challenges, love, pleasant surprises, and gut feelings. So this is time to follow your gut for some of you in the area of love. For some of you, unexpected shifts and changes are coming. Let's continue to read and see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it says this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you most. It's possible that someone something could rock your boat, but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms, your dream jobs or abroad, etc. Beautiful. So it looks like you're having a moment where in the in the surface it may appear appear different or challenging but it's gonna lead you to a very loving place or person and perhaps a job so congratulations on that sometimes we can be headed in a different direction than we're meant to be and the universe will nudge us into the path what that we signed up to do so card number two you have four 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 protection I do feel a lot of protection in the readings, and I don't think that's a coincidence. I do feel that we are very protected here on earth. We don't come here alone. You know, some of you believe in angels, in your higher self, in um, entities that have passed on that support and care for you, and I do feel them a lot in the readings. So you're very protected. It says change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, character, and love. Get ready for the good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going forward, going towards your ambitions, and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. Beautiful. So I feel with this card, I see, let's tell you how, what I feel. I, I saw in my mind's eye like a curtain and a lot of things happening behind the curtain. And when I see this image, it tells me that there's a lot of things working on your behalf and for you to support your life purpose that you don't see yet. Okay. Card number three. Wow, you guys, we have four, 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 four. Blessings in disguise. Obstacles, hardship, strength, building character, and experience. There might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor if you've been suffering or feeling lost. Some things may fall apart, but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. Hang in there, blessings in disguise. So <laughs> remember this, I got the, the vision of the phoenix uh, where sometimes things have to, the old has to be burned to the ground or I see an image of something kind of falling apart to build something stronger. And um, so for some of you, this will be very specific. This reading is about what appears to be your life falling in some areas. But what's really happening is your life is purifying, is detoxing all the things that were weighing you down. Some of the things you weren't even aware 
that they were weighing you down until they're gone. And um, <clears throat> it's for a purpose. It's for you to build something new. And we even have building character here. You have the strength to overcome this. Remember, if you add four and four, you get the number eight. The number eight is about personal strength, is about having the answers within you. I do feel like you're very supported. I do feel like there's forces blessing you and supporting this whole situation, even if you can't see it. So hang in there. Whatever it is that you're going through, many um, this year has created a lot of changes for many uh, out there. So I want to keep in mind that many of you have, may be going through some life changing experiences. That was kind of the theme throughout, but it's leading you into the right path. Um, you were here to build <clears throat> or uplift your soul is what I'm seeing. And so whatever appears to have been lost in the tangible world will build your soul. So if that message um, resonates to someone, it might be very specific. It came through very strongly. So I wish you the very best. Thank you for being here, guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.